Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks and today is Thursday, August the 16th and I am finally back here again for another construction update at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, uh, definitely be sure to check out PassportToTheParks.com. It's where I do all my posting, uh, all my articles and videos and pictures and all that good stuff. Uh, and if you uh, haven't uh, done so as well, please check out uh, my YouTube channel at uh, Passport to the Parks over on YouTube. I post all kinds of cool videos along with all these live updates and everything. Uh, I do apologize for uh, taking a while to get back here. I know I haven't posted much lately. Um, I actually had a lot of health issues, landed up in the hospital twice over the past uh, couple weeks and was just trying to get through all that and get myself uh, healthy again. Uh, everything's good now, so I'll be back doing the resort updates. Um, definitely going to hit uh, Caribbean Beach today. Uh, we'll hit Coronado Springs again in the near future. Uh, Skyliner, all that great stuff. So I appreciate you joining me. Um, if you are planning a vacation down here, I always like to um, lead you over to my friends at Living With The Magic Vacations. You can find them at livingwiththemagic.com and they'll help you with all your vacation needs. Um, really get you a nice uh, vacation package put together, especially if you want to come here to the Caribbean Beach or anywhere on, uh, on Disney or Universal or any of that good stuff. Hey Mariana, thanks for joining. Appreciate you being here. Uh, so I'm actually at the very, very back of Aruba right now. Hey Victoria. Yeah, I definitely am feeling better now. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for being here. Let me get you turned around because you got some really cool angles of... Oh, let me try that again. Usually the button doesn't work very well. But this is the back of Aruba. I wanted to start back here uh, because there is a lot of work being done on the Riviera back here and especially the Skyliner station. Found a really cool angle. Uh, there's hardly any fencing back here. So a really good shot into the, to the Skyliner being built at the Riviera. So this is the side view, again, at the back of Aruba. That's the Riviera Hotel. Looks like they have the uh, one of the domes being constructed on the top as well, really coming along with that. Uh, but this, uh, this station is really, really cool back here. And you can see um, there's a tower just through the trees in there. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, but you'll, you'll come in through uh, the Caribbean Beach, down through Aruba on that tower. It'll come into the Riviera Station uh, right in this section right here. And then you're actually going to make, uh, looks like a, like a 90 degree turn right there in the center. And that'll take you out of this exit or entrance, depending on where you're coming in from. Uh, and you'll head up onto this tower, which will take you down towards Epcot. So really, really cool um, construction happening with the, with the Skyliner. Really looking forward to that. But again, this is in the back of Aruba, so... We're going to make our way, kind of a winding turns and everything to try to get out of here. But we'll head through Aruba uh, and then up towards Jamaica and probably cut across towards Centertown at that point. We'll let uh, more people join us as we come along here. Hey, Brandon, thanks for watching. Hey, Scott, welcome. Hey, Claire, welcome. If you're just joining, we are in the back of Aruba. Just showing off a little bit of the Skyliner over at the Disney Riviera Resort that's being constructed. All right, Claire, arriving tomorrow for your first visit. That is awesome. I love hearing people's experience and seeing people experience Disney for the first time. You can see the tower above Aruba there. That's the last tower at the end of Aruba before you enter the Riviera. And you can actually see I'm standing basically right next to the construction. There's not a whole lot of noise. You can hear, you know, some beeping of the trucks backing up and stuff. And you can hear some of the construction workers, you know, yelling to each other. And But it's not really bad. And this is right next to the construction over here. You know, it may be heavier at different times. I'm sure you'll hear some noise, especially being this close, but pretty much throughout the 
most of the park areas, uh, there's not a whole lot of noise issues that I've seen during these updates. So now we're inside Aruba. I always appreciate you guys joining me here. And again, I do apologize for not being around. Uh, again, I had some health issues. I was in the hospital, but I got myself all better now and I'm going to get back to these resort updates and getting back into the parks and having some fun with you guys. But definitely uh, check out PassportToThePark.com as well. I post everything, post all the articles and pictures. As I go through here, you guys will hear me taking a lot of pictures as well. So I get a lot of pictures for the article on the website, put all the, the good information for you guys to follow. I know a lot of people like to see what's going on down here, especially if you're getting ready to travel down to the Caribbean beach. Hey Bob, welcome. Thanks for the thumbs up, Sandra. Sandra's going to be here uh, four more nights. Awesome. It's one of the pool areas over here in Aruba. You've got the beautiful beach. And here is the Riviera. It's a gorgeous view over here. That water is beautiful today. <laughs> All right, Alex, two more nights you'll be here. Everybody's coming. That's awesome. It's gorgeous, too. We, we had a lot of rain lately, but the rain is finally starting to let up, which is nice. This weekend is supposed to be beautiful weather wise. You can see the uh, tower leading into that station that we just saw. Again, I'm going to click some pictures while I'm here. Like I said, when you guys go on these live tours with me, you have to do a little work with me. Across the way there, you can see Old Port Royal Center Town being constructed. Really coming along. Now I did uh, stop and talk to uh, management. Hey Andrea, three weeks until you're here, that's awesome. Sandra, I'll work while you pack, that sounds good. I'll do the work for you. But anyways, uh, I did talk to uh, management when I got here. Try to get a little more information as far as an opening date for Centertown. There still has not been an exact date set, but um, Rumor has it that they are trying to hit October 1st, which would be the 30th anniversary for the resort here. Now, it does make a lot of sense. Uh, they were shooting for that fall date. Originally, it was supposed to be in the summer, but they had some issues with uh, some of the roof. And so they had to push that back to the fall. No exact date has been set, but management said... Uh, October 1st might be a, a pretty good date to, to shoot for. So that would be pretty cool if they, if they could hit their anniversary date and have it open by then. All right, Darren, uh, from the UK coming in mid-October. That's awesome. Get some nice shots of the tower here. Again, the Riviera. Look at how gorgeous it is here. All right, Amanda, arriving on October 14th. I, fingers crossed, guys. I hope that they can hit that uh, October 1st date. I mean, it really looks great over there. You can tell they're coming along with it. Uh, another piece of news, uh, Shutters Restaurant, which you see basically being built right on the water there. Uh, that is now changed to Sebastian's. Shutter's Restaurant has a name change to Sebastian's, which I thought was pretty cool. 
Sebastian's uh, sounds more island based I kind of like it now I don't know if they're gonna do more theming I don't know if that is more Sebastian's as in the Little Mermaid Sebastian or if it's just uh, just a general naming but it's kind of cool it's always nice to to see some changes being done Yeah, Kurt, uh, you want to move to Florida but convincing the wife. Yeah, that's a can be a hard thing to do. Good thing was is my wife was totally on board. She loves Florida. So we were in mutual agreement. It was convincing the rest of the family that we were actually going to do this and not having them freak out. So most of our family is all back in Ohio. That's where we're from see in the distance back there you can see the balloon from uh, Disney Springs it's pretty neat okay we're gonna continue on through Aruba here you can see the massive tower right above us Andrea, you're asking about the uh, fence on the beach here. That does not go all the way around the resort. That's just in the, the primary beach areas. And again, that's just for safety reasons. They do post signs all around, you know, saying there is wildlife. There's alligators, snakes, those types of things. And you really have to use your own caution when you're here. I, I never really go down towards the water's edge or anything like that. You have to use common sense and you have to, to be safe. It is Florida and it's unpredictable. And Disney does do their best to make sure that creatures and stuff are removed as soon as they're, they're seen. But it's a large section of water here. Nice shot of the center town across the way there gonna be some awesome shops in there totally brand new uh, they're gonna redo the whole entrance uh, the custom house will be moved over here uh, I always like to, to hit the map here if you guys haven't joined my tours before I'll hit the map here and you can see exactly kind of what's going on keep everybody up to par Paula you don't like the uh, Skyliner pole yeah they, they really do stand out um, I'm really hoping, let me get another shot of it here, really hoping that they might add some color to these poles. They're just sort of big gray eyesores right now. Maybe they'll paint them some whimsical colors, try to match into the resort a little bit. Not sure yet. It'll be neat when the cars are going by, though, once the, uh, the gondolas are on. I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, anyways, okay, so we're at the map here. Uh, so right now we are in Aruba, it says we're here. Um, the Riviera is being constructed up in this area here. So you saw the Skyliner. Basically the Skyliner towers are coming through Aruba and Jamaica uh, to the other Skyliner station, which is the Caribbean Beach station, which is right here, and we'll get to that. Um, we're going to head through Aruba down through towards Jamaica. I think I'm going to cut across the bridge over towards Centertown. Uh, then we'll head through like Trinidad and come back around, see the Skyliner station uh, up into Jamaica. Another thing is the uh, Custom House right now is way up here. Um, it's sort of dislodged from everything. Never really liked it in this resort as far as the check-in and everything. Um, somebody's asking uh, which section uh, recommend staying in. I get that question a lot. Um, I always was shying away from Jamaica and Aruba just for the proximity to, you know, the, the Skyliner Towers and everything, um, the construction over here. Uh, Aruba, you can see it's still pretty kind of beat up. You know, you're, you're dealing with a lot of the, the construction over here by the Riviera. Jamaica has gotten better. They're pretty much done with most of the towers in Jamaica, which we'll get to. Uh, I always recommend Trinidad North and South. I love those. Uh, they're beautiful. They're peaceful. They're, um, you can see on the map here, you know, they're, they're located 
further away from most of the construction up here with the the Riviera. Uh, there is some center town construction, but it's it's for farther enough away that you don't really deal with it. Um, hey, Cindy, welcome. Uh, let's see, any signs posted with more than what is printed in the recreation calendar uh, on the Pineapple Gala taking place at the end of the month? Uh, I don't know much about that. I'll see if I can get an answer um, before I leave. I'll try to talk to one of the cast members and get some information for you. Hey, Claudia, welcome. Hey, Amanda, welcome. Uh, again, Trinidad North, really great. Trinidad South has the um, Spyglass Grill, which is one of my favorite little restaurants in this resort um really awesome food uh you really got to check that out especially if you're staying here it's a good little quick service uh but again that's the map oh i was talking about the custom house um this entrance is actually going to change to the new entrance for the riviera so it's kind of there's martinique um the custom house is located more in this area here so this is going to change and be uh transferred over to the riviera entrance um then the new entrance is going to be cut in over by Jamaica for the um, Caribbean Beach here, which is located more towards the Skyliner. So you'll enter off of Victory Way, come down around through Trinidad North and up into uh, Center Town, which is where the new Custom House is going to be. So all this check-in area is going to move to Center Town over here, which is a really good idea. And this will all become all Riviera up here. Uh, your family's coming uh, May 6th of 2019. That's really, really great. Uh, you're gonna, this is all going to be really well along by then. Uh, you'll have maybe some Skyliner stuff happening, um, but the resort is going to be beautiful next May. So let's keep on moving here. Amanda, you love my magic band. That's, yeah, <laughs> this is like my favorite magic band. It's old school. It's uh, the Haunted Mansion. So it's my, it's my go-to magic band. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up on most of your comments here as I'm walking along. I know they're coming in pretty quick. Uh, let's see, Lorna, thanks for the question. Uh, when is the Skyliner going to be finished? There is no date for the Skyliner. Uh, it's just going to be next year sometime, maybe next summer. Uh, fall. I mean, hopefully they would try to get it done for the um, uh, for the opening of Galaxy's Edge, especially since it's heading over to uh, Hollywood Studios. But I do Skyliner updates as well along the way, so uh, definitely check those out. PassportToTheParks.com, uh, Passport to the Parks over on YouTube do all kinds of cool Skyliner updates as well, so I'll keep you more informed as we go along with that. There's another tower right here in the center of Jamaica. Hey, Michelle, welcome. Hey, Sarah, welcome. Coming uh, 25th of May in 2019. First time here. Awesome. You're going to love it. First time is always the best time. Okay, like I said, we can't continue all the way through Jamaica, but I'm actually going to cut across the bridge to the uh, Caribbean Key. So we can head over towards Center Town. It's a beautiful shot here. That is Trinidad North. rest of Jamaica. I agree, Adam. I hope they do paint these towers. Imagine these gondolas hanging from these things. Go, It's really going to be pretty cool. See more towers down there. I always like this shot of the Riviera right here. Get some more pictures. All right, I'm to move. Onward we move. Sorry, try to spit my words out today. Hey, 
Yeah, I know a lot of you have the same opinion about the the towers and the the color. Now they are all the towers are the same wherever they're being built right now. They're that gray color. Whether or not they're going to add any sort of a uh, whimsical colors to them is yet to be determined. It would be pretty cool though. You can see it's really not a bad walk over from uh, Jamaica and Aruba when you cut across the bridge. Just takes you right around the playground area. You can see the main pool area right across the, the lake here. Uh, let's see, Michelle is asking, do we know the running times for the Skyliners? Do we think that they will run like the buses? Uh, the Skyliner is going to be... Um, Skyliner is going to be pretty much like, I would assume, like the people mover, which will be sort of a constant moving thing. I, I would imagine they'll probably be like a moving platform, uh, which is a shout out to <laughs> my friend Michael. Check out the moving platform as well over on YouTube. It's a friend of mine who does a lot of cool stuff. It looks like they're filming something in here. Maybe doing something for Disney. That's pretty cool. Don't want to interfere with them. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll get a nice shot of the construction over here as well from across the lake. Sorry, I jump into uh, different uh, subjects as I go along here. Just as the stuff pops into my head, I like to spit it out. So get some pictures. Okay, let's keep heading around here. Um, but as far as a, like a bus schedule, um, the buses are going to be a backup system. You know, the Skyliner dealing with the weather and stuff here in Florida. You know, if there's any lightning or any chance of severe storms or anything, they're going to shut that Skyliner down. So you're going to have the buses running as a backup all the time to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. But it should be a, a pretty constant moving um, situation as far as the, the Skyliner. Turn you around here. This is uh, the pool area. You can see uh, center town. Construction still happening. Doesn't affect anything with the pool. The pool has remained open through this whole construction phase. All right, Rachel, uh, it'll be your third visit in 2019. That's cool. Get a little bit of the Caribbean music in the background here. Every time I'm here, they're playing Don't Worry, Be Happy on the steel drums. <laughs> I always get that song stuck in my head every time I do these tours because they're always playing it on the, in the pool. All right, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie's coming in 111 days. She's got her countdown going. Yeah, they do. The uh, the characters do join at the pool. I've um, seen Donald in there. Uh, I forget who else I've seen. Maybe Minnie. But they do come to the uh, pool area. It's really kind of a fun deal. They come and dance and everything with the kids. Still have the... Uh, the restaurant and the tent here. It's a usually a buffet style. Uh, for lunch, you can get um, you know some salads, some sandwiches, 
nice little menu, pulled pork, uh, island curry, uh, smoked turkey sandwich, some different salads. Give you a quick shot in here so you know what it looks like. Donald, Goofy, and Minnie come to the pool. Yeah, you're right. So here is the restaurant area. It's kind of cool. It still has that island theme. Here's the um, concept art for everything that's happening. Lorna, you're asking when the uh, restaurants and the shops and everything are going to be reopened. Thank you. Uh, I did say at the beginning of the video, if you're just joining, I, I talked to management when I first got here. There's still no exact set date for Centertown to open, which will be, you know, the restaurants and everything, the shops. But they are sort of shooting for October 1st. It's not set in stone. But October 1st is actually the 30th anniversary for the resort. So it would make sense if they can hit that date. So fingers crossed, that's what we'll be looking at. They did say the fall. They have been saying the fall, so October 1st would fall into that realm. Can you have a little bar area set up? The Banana Cabana Bar. A little merchandise set up. Hello. Good. You can rent bikes here. A little bike rental. You just head to the uh, little uh, shop set up here. Rent your bike. Ivan, uh, Ivan and Julia, the October 1st is your wedding anniversary. Sweet. So that'd be pretty nice for you guys. Nice wedding anniversary present to have all this open. You can come celebrate. As soon as they do put an exact date out, I will let you guys know, I promise. So now we are entering into Trinidad South. And again, when people ask me, where I would most like to stay, it would definitely be uh, in Trinidad here. Either Trinidad North or South. Did I say Trinidad South that I was in? Uh, this is Trinidad North. I'm sorry. I can't remember what I said. But as I'm standing here right now, it is so peaceful. You can't hear anything. You're within just a very short walking distance to center town. Gorgeous views over here. Beautiful view of the lake. Just over that bridge is Trinidad South. We're actually going to head up towards that bridge. Once we get up there, we will see the uh, Disney Skyliner, the station being built for Caribbean Beach which looks to be the biggest station. And I do apologize, there's a little burst of wind here and if it gets a little windy, uh, I apologize. I still haven't found a, uh, a mic set up with a, a wind sock for my live videos. I have the whole setup on my DSLR that I do my um, regular videos on, but when I do the live feeds here, it's basically just through my phone, so if you get a little wind blown in there, I do apologize. I'll find a microphone for it sooner or later. All right, Lisa, coming to Trinidad in 253 days. Keep your Disney countdowns going, that's great. And again, I'm sorry if I do miss some of your comments. 
Uh, if I do miss it, try to, to send it again. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Sometimes we'll walk around and there's a lot of sun glare and everything, and it's hard to, to keep track of everybody. But I'll try to get them as much as I can. Gorgeous little beach area here. Again, you see uh, no fence along the water line until you get to the beach area. They don't want you going into the water, obviously, for safety reasons. Amy, you're going to be here in nine days. Awesome. Dawn, 365 days. Paula, Trinidad North, this is your home. It's perfect. Got the pool area here. Nice little private pool. Again, uh, Trinidad South has the Spyglass Grill, which I totally love. You can check out my food review that I did, PassportToThePark.com, or it's on YouTube as well. I had the Caribbean tacos, which were just awesome over there. Really, really flavorful. Totally filled me up. You can either walk under the bridge or over the bridge. Dean, 59 days and counting. Sweet. Emily arriving Monday morning. Got everybody coming. You guys who are coming uh, here shortly, weather has been really nice. This weekend especially is supposed to be really nice. It's not supposed to rain. I'm going to try to get over, get a nice look at the Skyliner station. Ah, this has grown over a little bit. Big old leaf here. But we'll get through it. Look at the size of this thing. Stacy, 29 days. Marcy coming in December. Awesome. So, just a quick uh, deal with the Skyliner. This is coming down through uh, Trinidad South. This actually comes from um, Art of Animation and Pop Century. Comes into the station here for the Caribbean Beach. Uh, right in the center, you can see there is sort of a transfer to where you'll go to the opposite direction and head out towards Hollywood Studios. So right in the center, you transfer and head that way. Or you can continue out this way through the resort down towards the Riviera, where we saw in the beginning where it makes that turn down towards Epcot then. Rebecca asking about the weather in November. November is beautiful. Uh, as soon as you start getting into the, the winter months, um, past September, November, December, January, February, weather can get a little cooler at night, which I love, but you're still going to hit like, you know, 70s and 80s during the day. Uh, very, very, very little rain. Sometimes it doesn't rain at all uh, for months during the winter. Uh, the rainy season is obviously the summer. Hurricane season is like June, July through uh, September. So November is a great month. I always recommend. I always used to come when I traveled down from Ohio. I would always come in uh, October. So any time in the fall is just beautiful. I'll grab a couple pictures while I'm here. head back around. There's actually no walkway over on this side of the bridge. The walkway is on the other side of the bridge. So I have to make my way through a little bit of grass here. But it gives a great view of that Skyliner station, which I love. Trinidad South, down in this direction. Spyglass Grill is down there. 
gorgeous, but we're going to head across the bridge towards Jamaica. Again, I'm trying just to give you guys a look at some of the construction going on here. If anybody ever wants like a full, complete resort tour, you know, just let me know. Comment on the videos or send me messages. You can always contact me at rob at passporttotheparks.com. Try to answer any emails, questions. But any full like resort walkthroughs that you want to see, just let me know. It doesn't even have to be Caribbean Beach. If you're coming down, you're planning a trip, you want to see something specific, just let me know. I'll try to get get to it for you. Uh, Lorna, you're asking, let's see here, is Trinidad the only one with the beaches and hammocks? No. Uh, Jamaica has a beach with the hammocks and the chairs and everything, as well as Aruba. And I believe Martinique does too. Anywhere that you have water access, they're going to have a beach. I just prefer uh, Trinidad just because I think it's just the most calming, the most peaceful. Now, as I'm standing here, I can hear a lot of the uh, noise from, I don't know if you guys can hear this well or not, but I can definitely hear construction noise from the uh, Skyliner station. And this is at the very end of Jamaica. I'm going to walk down this way towards the parking lot, and I'll show you the new entranceway. I hit this stuff on pretty much all my videos. I try to hit the same stuff, but just so you can see the progression as it goes along. That's what I love most is seeing, you know, where it comes from nothing and then it just starts to build up into these amazing things. Ah, they're actually up on a cherry picker here doing some work on one of the towers. There's no sidewalk over in this area here, so kind of walk a little bit on the on the road and in the grass. Another cool shot of the station here. Hey Richard, uh, coming on October 6th. Yeah, I see it looks like somebody might have answered a question about October 1st. That's that's sort of the, the date that they're shooting for. It's not set in stone. But uh, October 1st looks to be a, a potential date. That is the 30th anniversary of the resort. Now this tower was not here the last time I was here, so they just did this over about the last month as they put this tower in. You definitely hear a lot of construction here. So I'm trying to walk sideways and stay out of the road. Pretty amazing. You wouldn't catch me going up on that thing. I'm not a heights person, but I'm really, really looking forward to riding the Skyliner. I think it's going to be awesome. I don't do roller coasters or I hate flying, all that stuff. But definitely looking forward to riding the Skyliner.
Uh, Michelle, I wonder if the fireworks will be viewable from the resort when all the construction is done. Um, I've never actually stood in the resort here for a fireworks show, so I'm not sure what you can see. Now, I know from the, the top of the Riviera, you'll be able to see some fireworks really well. What they're really shooting for, as far as fireworks views, is the new tower over at Coronado Springs. That is going to be an outstanding view of all the fireworks. You're going to be able to see all four resorts from the top of that uh, new tower that they're building. Oh, I'm sorry, I was going to show you guys the entrance. You can see the entrance. Uh, that is the new entrance being cut. And that'll open when the uh, the resort does do its, its full opening as far as center town and everything. So you can see in the distance there, that's the new uh, Victory Way entrance. This Skyliner station is going to be huge. Look at the size of that thing. Jamie, uh, can't wait to be here in November, arrive on November 18th. Uh, surprise for your mom with a trip for her birthday and Thanksgiving. Oh, that is awesome. Good for you. She'll definitely love that. We get family that comes down and visit from uh, Ohio every once in a while. My parents were actually just here. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I was having a lot of health issues and landed up in the hospital, so my parents came down. So it was really nice to see them. So it's always nice to have, you know, your parents, your mom, your dad, or anybody come with you and experience Florida, experience Disney. This is uh, Jamaica. This is the parking lot in Jamaica. There's a tower right here. Jamie, you're coming from Cleveland. That's awesome. I'm from Cleveland. I'm about uh, 20 minutes west of Cleveland. I was from a town called Elyria. Moved here about four years ago. Sharon coming on the 24th. Coming from the UK. A surprise for your boys. That's awesome. I love that stuff. There's no better surprise than coming to Disney. I hope you guys all have beautiful trips. I really hope these videos help. And again, if you're planning on staying anywhere else or you want to see anything, definitely let me know. And I'll try to get to that stuff for you guys. See, Jamie, you live in West Park, grew up in Brunswick. Yeah, I've been to Brunswick many times. Kelly heading here in three weeks. It's gonna be beautiful getting right into that to that fall season. Some of the heat should start to break. It's definitely pretty hot walking around here right now. I'm trying to determine which way I want to go here. Uh, let's head this way. August is kind of a rough month in Florida here. It's definitely very hot and humid. But we deal with it. The winter months are absolutely gorgeous here. Thank you so much, Ivan. I don't know if it's Ivan or Julia, but thank you both for the compliment. Marcy, it'd be nice to have uh, painted the towers to match the decor of the buildings. Yeah, we talk about that a lot. I would love to see these towers get painted. You can see walking through Jamaica is really not bad. You know, as far as noise, uh, it is pretty peaceful back here. It wasn't in the beginning. There was a lot of Skyliner construction happening but that's calmed down. Got the pool area there. And there is the beach. Someone had asked, uh, you know, what areas have beaches. So pretty much all of the areas will have their own little private beach area. 
with the uh, the hammocks and everything. It's nice just to come and relax, taking a little bit of sun. All right, Anthony, coming on uh, Saturday. Sweet. If you just tuned in, it's supposed to be beautiful this weekend. You can see right now, look at these beautiful Florida skies. Doesn't get more gorgeous than that. Derek, uh, thinking of coming in February. February is uh, my birthday month, so that's awesome. Uh, you won't regret February. Very little rain. Again, you're, you're going to get into some cooler evenings, which is great. You'll probably be 70s, 80s. Um, you can definitely swim. You know, you can swim year-round here. It gets a little cooler at night getting into the pools, but February is a great time. David coming in a week uh, with a family of seven come from Austin. You're going to have a great time. Seven people, man. That's a, that's a big trip. See Michelle, they could paint the towers like giant palm trees. Hey, that would be cool. I was thinking palm trees are... What do you see those uh, kind of those red and white striped like a lighthouse or even you can see right across here see the the lighthouse across the way there over in uh, Old Port Royale you know they could do them like big lighthouses or palm trees that's a cool idea I do hope they do uh, some landscaping around here hopefully they just won't leave the tower base just sort of sitting here maybe they'll put some shrubbery or some flowers and stuff around it they're not done they're in the middle of everything they're gonna make it uh, they'll make it perfect just like Disney does trust me Disney listens to a lot of this stuff that gets said they they listen to people you know they get opinions of people and they want people to be happy when they come so you know, if they keep hearing eyesore, eyesore, eyesore for these towers, you know, that may, uh, that may get them to act on it. They may already have a plan in place. Who knows? Alice arriving tonight. Awesome. Welcome, Alice. Beautiful day. Amy, uh, you just missed Jamaica. I was just walking through Jamaica. Here, since I'm a nice guy, I'll head back that way for you, Amy. <laughs> we'll head around the outside of it. See, Angel was here uh, in April and May. Hope to come back next year. That'd be great. Love to see you back. Hey, Brown, and welcome. Or, I'm sorry, huh? am I saying your name right? Brownwin? Brownwin. Hopefully, I got that right. We're going to head back towards Jamaica. See, I'm here for you guys. I know I didn't hit the uh, the outer edge of it here. Heather uh, asking, are they building a big building here like Coronado? Um, let me get around here so you can see it. It's actually called the Riviera Resort. It's not part of the Caribbean beach it's going to be its own resort called the Riviera but you can see it in the distance there that is the tower being built it's at the very north end of the Caribbean beach but it is called uh, the Riviera Resort the one at the Coronado Springs is actually part of Coronado Nicole uh, family coming on Saturday through, through August 25th that's a great trip Juan going to be here tomorrow. He's driving. Be safe and get here. Like I said, it's supposed to be beautiful weather this weekend, guys. So you might experience, you know, a little bit of rain towards the evening. If we get some rain, it's usually, you know, like around 4 or 5 o'clock. It'll rain for 20 minutes, half an hour, and then blow through. And it usually cools things off as well. 
So here is the outside of Jamaica. Here is the pool area. Susan coming at the end of November. I wish every one of you guys a beautiful trip. I really do. So yeah, Jamaica really, really has become a little more peaceful than it was in the beginning. They do have a really big beach area here. It looks like this is probably the biggest beach area as part of Jamaica here. And again, I'm walking into a little bit of wind here, so I apologize for any wind noise. I do promise I am working on the, the mic for my live feeds here. <laughs> Cut out some of the wind for you guys. Uh, Jennifer, if you're just joining in, uh, Center Town, I talked to management. Uh, they are shooting for October 1st, which is the 30th anniversary of the resort. That date is not set in stone. But it sounds like it could be a decent possibility for October 1st. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Hey, Stacy Marie. Uh, yeah, a lot of changes since last December 2016, definitely. Some major changes all over Disney. Take you a little bit through Jamaica here. You can see one of the towers overhead. You're welcome, Jennifer. And you're welcome, Sophie. Jamaica seems to be very popular amongst everybody. It's definitely a nice little area. Trinidad, again, is at the top of my list, but that's just a personal thing. Jamie, I hope you do have a great trip in November. Got a little seating area back through here. Just beautiful greenery through here, very tropical. It is gorgeous. Here we go. How many of you guys would just love to come and just sit on a bench? <laughs> sit on a bench in Jamaica. I'm gonna take a second here. Try to catch up on some of these messages. Juan, uh, you're staying in Trinidad. Trinidad's my favorite, Juan. You're gonna love it. You're gonna have a great time. Definitely check out Spyglass Grill when you're in Trinidad. Uh, Alice, you're staying in the Pirate Rooms. They are also in Trinidad. Now, don't worry about interrupting. Please ask questions. Don't be jealous, Heather. It's, it'll be here for you. If you guys are planning on vacations, check out my friends at uh, Living With The Magic Vacations. Sorry, I'm getting up. My bones get a little old, sorry. Living With The Magic Vacations. Uh, livingwiththemagic.com. Awesome, awesome folks. They'll help you with all your vacation needs. If you haven't got a trip already, get a hold of them, get one booked, and get down here because you don't want to miss this. Heather, the uh, the main restaurant is actually shut down, part of Center Town, but they do have a temporary restaurant in place, which is under uh, sort of a tent area. It's very nice. It's air conditioned, um, very whimsical inside, colorful, colorful chairs and tables. And again, I did uh, state in the beginning of the video that Shutter's restaurant is uh, being changed to Sebastian's. So there's a name change. Shutter's is changing to Sebastian's, which I think is kind of a cool name.
These are all the outdoor style rooms. So your door does face the outside. But Disney is very safe. Security is very well pronounced at Disney. Once everything opens up over at Centertown, I will definitely uh, get in there, show you guys everything. You know, we can all see the shops together, check out the restaurants, try to do some food reviews, all that fun stuff. Angela, nine days until you get here. Awesome. It'll go by quick. Then you'll be here and it'll be beautiful. All right, I'm going to make my way out towards the waterway again, and I'll probably get ready to wrap it up if you guys want to shoot any more questions before I do that. Uh, try to get them out. Does Disney get rid of bugs around the resort? Lauren is asking about the bugs. They actually do. Disney does some pretty amazing things as far as dealing with uh, mosquitoes especially. Um, they do spray in the mornings and the evenings. They spray a lot of the areas well known with mosquitoes. Um, they have a large population of birds and other animals that eat insects. Um, but they do some really cool scientific stuff. They actually have, um, in different areas on property, they're called, uh, I believe, sentinel chickens that attract these mosquitoes, and they're able to take these chickens and test their blood um, and see what kind of mosquito bites are out there, um, if there's any disease in the mosquitoes, the most populated areas. So they're able to concentrate and find out all about these mosquitoes from these chickens and then they're able to, you know, take care of those issues based on where they're most populated. So when I come to Disney, hardly no mosquito problems at all. I've, I don't think I've ever gotten bit once by a mosquito. I mean, you do have some bugs here. It is Florida. You know, you might see some of them big palomino bugs every once in a while or some wildlife. But as far as the, the you know, the nasty ones that matter, like the mosquitoes, Disney does take a lot of effort to uh, try to prevent that so hopefully that answers your question drew coming down staying at the yacht club oh beautiful i love the yacht club i go there all the time drew coming down in uh, january mark stayed in aruba uh, close to the main pool very comfy queen beds yeah it's awesome just trying to go back through some of the comments here. Uh, Mark just got uh, just left on Monday. You want to come back? Definitely, you got to get back here soon. Uh, Heather asking what the tower things are. Uh, yeah, everybody's answering your questions. That's the uh, Disney Skyliner. That's the uh, gondola system that runs on cables. It's going to run between uh, Art of Animation and Pop Century. It'll come up into Disney's Caribbean Beach. You'll be able to transfer over to Hollywood Studios from there or continue on on these towers, which you see running through Jamaica and Aruba. These towers will take you down to the Riviera Resort, which is just at the end of the waterway. Uh, that's a 90 degree turn that takes you all the way to Epcot. It takes you to the International Gateway at the back of Epcot. So, pretty huge transportation system. Uh, Disney's definitely rolling the dice, trying to get some new transportation in here, try to ease some of the, the busing. You know, a lot of people are worried about weather and things like that, but, you know, Disney, Disney knows what they're doing. This is going to be a, a good thing. Um, I was just actually going to get to Coronado. In my opinion, I think if this works out as far as the Skyliner, 
and becomes a, a, a good mode of transportation, I would see it expanding, especially because it goes to Hollywood Studios. I would see it expanding down to Coronado Springs and over to the Animal Kingdom. That would be uh, further into the future. But the monorail is just such an expensive way to uh, expand. So I think the uh, Skyliner is going to be definitely some transportation of the future that you're going to see more and more throughout Disney property. But as far as a phase two, I think Coronado Springs and Animal Kingdom, in my opinion, would be next on the, uh, on the list. Thank you, Drew. I appreciate the uh, compliment. I love doing these updates. You know, it's just nice to come and walk around these resorts and share this stuff with you guys. Love talking to you guys and trying to make your trip a little bit better, better before you get here. Okay, so this is back to, uh, towards Aruba where we started. Again, I apologize if the wind is blowing here. Valerie, can't wait 60 days, your first trip. That's awesome. I love first trips. Please, please, please have a great time. I know you will. We'll walk by Center Town one more time here towards Aruba, and then we'll wrap it up. If you guys are just uh, tuning in, definitely go back and watch the entire video. Uh, a lot of good information. Uh, in the very beginning, I've got some really cool shots of the Riviera Skyliner station over there. I'll be posting this over on YouTube as well. So if you haven't yet, subscribe uh, Passport to the Parks over on YouTube. Go to PassportToTheParks.com. You can find all my information there, all my social media stuff. Definitely click like on everything. You can follow me wherever you want. Check out all my articles, videos, all that great stuff. Uh, I'll put an article up about my tour here today as well over on the website. Just give me a, you know, a day or two to get that done. But here's Center Town. Try to hit a more comments here. Uh, Carrie coming on Christmas Day. Wow, that's a cool Christmas present. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you for the compliment. Going to be uh, Coronado on September 8th. Coronado is beautiful. I'll, I'll actually be going to Coronado maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to a park or over to Coronado tomorrow. Jacqueline coming in 14 days. Drew, 150 days. Phil, what's the fishing like in this lake? You know, I'm not sure about this lake in particular. I, I don't see much fishing here. Fishing excursions are usually like over on Bay Lake, um, Fort Wilderness area. That's where I see a lot of them. I'm actually looking into doing one myself because my daughter really wants to go fishing. So if I find more information out or if I actually go on a fishing trip or anything I'll put some information out about it I'll get some on video and so look for that in the near future because it's on the list my daughter has been nagging me to go fishing like crazy so Heather right now um, you know I just kind of go live when I have the opportunity to I don't have a set schedule um, if it's worth it to you guys, I will try to set a set schedule to do these videos. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to, to get through life sometimes. I actually have a, a channel with my daughter as well, a YouTube channel that she does a lot of stuff on, so I work with her a lot on that. So i got a lot of different things going on. But I'll try to do some set, some set schedules, uh, post a little farther in advance. Um, you know, like the day before, if I know that I'm going somewhere, I'll, I'll post it and let you know a time that I'll, that I'll be here, if that'll help. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate that. Uh, Lucia, any alligators in the lake? Uh, there very well could be. There's definitely signs. You can see it right there. You have to be safe when you're around the area here. It's Florida. Disney does try to keep these waterways as clear as possible, but you never know. So just be safe. Don't go by the water's edge. Thank you so much, Juan. Appreciate you as well. Have a, have a wonderful trip and be safe, please.
Okay, guys, as you can see, the, the sun has uh, been beating down here. I think I've done my work for today. I really, really appreciate you guys being here. Um, I love talking to you guys, chatting with you guys. Be awesome if you guys share these videos. You know, the more people I get involved, the easier it is for me to, to continue doing this. Um, definitely clicking like buttons, uh, heading over to uh, YouTube and subscribing there and clicking the like button and commenting. All that stuff really, really helps to support everything here. So I appreciate everything that you guys do. And definitely uh, keep the questions coming. Get a hold of me at rob at passporttotheparks.com. Um, Alice, I've never seen alligators come up on the grass here. Never seen it uh, in any of my resort walkthroughs. So don't worry about that. Just stay clear of the water. Uh, again, check out passporttotheparks.com. YouTube, I think I went through all this. Uh, check out my friends at Living With The Magic Vacations. Uh, livingwiththemagic.com. They'll help you with all your vacation planning needs. And I think that's it, guys. Had an awesome time. Glad to be back. I'm in good health now.